Everything we're doing now is to prevent um, the pain and suffering of the tragedy of Ukraine from being repeated in our scenario in Taiwan. The PRC government uh, has no right to decide or define um, how we engage with the world. Um, we are a globally connected society today. And um, I think the people of Taiwan desire to have friends. Uh, we will continue to try to make friends. Hi, how are you? Ellen Meyer with the AP. Yeah, it's nice to meet you. Very You're welcome. Meet. Thank you so much for sitting down with the Associated Press. We're very interested. This is an important time for relations. I know that there have been lots of parallels drawn between the situation in Ukraine and, you know, the situation in Taiwan. What, as, as, as you watch events in Ukraine, what, and as other Taiwanese leaders watch events in Ukraine, what, what lessons are you drawing there? Everything we're doing now is to prevent um, the pain and suffering of the tragedy of Ukraine from being repeated in our scenario in Taiwan. Um, so ultimately, we seek to deter um, the use of military force. Um, but in a worst-case scenario, uh, we understand that uh, we have to be better prepared uh, so as to fortify our defenses and to prevent um, an attack from harming the people of Taiwan. Um, so we are watching closely. Uh, there are a lot of sympathies for the Ukrainian people in Taiwan. We have sent a lot of humanitarian aid and support uh, from our people uh, to the Ukrainian people. Um, from a defense and security uh, perspective, um, we are learning that um, uh, there is, is much to be done um, in terms of countering an asymmetric uh, situation. Uh, the Ukrainian resistance has uh, proved to be very resilient, uh, which is uh, rather inspiring uh, for many. Um, and we are also targeting our own defense reforms uh, in a way that will also uh, enable our defenses to be resilient and strong in an asymmetric Way. I think it's critical uh, to um, send a consistent message uh, to um, the authoritarian leaders um, that force is never an option. Force will not be tolerated. Um, the use of force will be met by a strong international response, uh, including uh, consequences uh, on the party that initiates such uh, unprovoked uh, uh, military force. The U.S. for decades now has had the policy of strategic ambiguity where it, 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 it leaves ambiguous whether its military would respond if China were to attack Taiwan. Is, is that still serving the purpose that it needs to? It has preserved peace. Uh, the status quo has um, enabled uh, a situation where uh, we have had significant political differences across the Taiwan Strait, um, and yet uh, we can coexist in a peaceful way. Um, in terms of uh, um, international assistance uh, for Taiwan, of course, the people of Taiwan uh, welcome uh, any help possible uh, in maintaining the peace and stability uh, that serves our interests. Um, but at the same time, we also understand that we have to be uh, willing to invest in our own defenses uh, if we are to expect anyone to help us. Should um, House Speaker Kevin McCarthy uh, visit Taiwan while he's in office as House Speaker? Well, uh, that will be his decision. Um, but uh, I think ultimately uh, the people of Taiwan have welcomed visitors from out around the world. Um, Taiwan uh, is encountering a situation where we are constantly facing um, China's suppression of our international space. Uh, we are being bullied um, against making friends uh, internationally. Uh, we are China, uh, the PRC government, uh, through its uh, global uh, political influence campaigns, uh, seeks to marginalize Taiwan and prevent the people of Taiwan uh, from connecting to the world. And so I must say that, uh, you know, as a general principle, the people of Taiwan are always open and, and welcoming uh, to international uh, visitors. Um, uh, ha having said that, I think it's uh, important to highlight that 
um, you know, the PRC government uh, has no right to decide or define um, how we engage with the world. Um, we are a globally connected society today. And um, I think the people of Taiwan desire to have friends. Uh, we will continue to try to make friends. Work with us in deterring uh, the possibility.